All right, good, good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's Empower session. I'm Noma, I'm the project manager at Telarify, and I'll be talking to you or sharing um, some of the things that I know or some knowledge on project management tools. Two weeks ago, Dr. Anne Treasure mentioned the importance of project management tools in her presentation when she spoke about the preparation and discovery phases of the research life cycle. She mentioned that a project uh, project management tools help you to organize the team, organize the project, and also manage collaborations. She also mentioned that it is important Important that you look for tools that are supported in university or institutions because this helps with um, licensing and authorization. She mentioned that there are various tools. As we can see, I'm going to focus on the three that are on the screen, Meta Trello, Jira, and Asana. And today I will be talking to you about Trello. So I use Trello on a daily basis to manage day-to-day -day activities and to manage projects as well. So what is Trello? Trello is a web-based project management tool, which can also be downloaded onto your PC or your phone. It allows for management of projects and workflows and tra um, task tracking. It also allows you to add files, to add checklists, and even automation. But the important thing with Trello is that you should customize it to suit your needs. So your Trello board will consist, or Trello, your Trello workspace will consist of a board, lists, and cards. And I'm going to explain this in detail as we go along the presentation. Okay, so the pink blue space or area, that is your board. Um, and the gray parts laid to do, doing and done, those are your lists. So this Trello board has three lists and your cards are the white blocks that you see inside the lists. So a card can contain as little, as, um, as little information as possible. It can also contain as much information as possible. Again, it goes back to customizing it to meet your needs. So we're just going to have a look at the different elements of the Trello board. Now your board contains all your work for this for a specific project. This is where you can track information on your project and to track the information, the, the project that you're working on. It helps you to see your presentation or your work at a glance. So you get an overview of the project that you're working on. This is where you also organize your lists and your tasks. And most importantly, this is also the space where you will invite colleagues for collaboration. So again, just to recap, your board is the blue pink area. Next, I'll talk to you about lists. So your list is where you keep your cards, specific tasks, and also pieces of information. A list can be created, can be used to create a workflow where cards are moved across the board in each step. I will show you this in a demo a bit later. Um, lists can simply act as a place to keep ideas and information and there's no limit of uh, limit to the number of lists that you can have on the board. So again, just to show you, the list is the gray area and in this board, once more, we have a to-do list, a doing list, and a done list. Okay, so that is list. And now I'll talk to you about cards. So your cards are the smallest but most detailed unit of the board. This is where you represent your tasks or ideas. And then as mentioned, your cards can be moved across the list depending on the progress of the of the task and if we just go back what i mean by that is say for example i have this card over here before i start with this task i'll keep that card on my to-do list once i start doing it i can move it over to the doing list and when when that is done i can move it over to the done list and just more on cards so this again is a cello board the blue space is your board, the gray areas or this gray blocks are your lists. And as you can see, um, you can have different names for your cards. You can also put labels for, to your cards as well. So this, this orange and the blue, those are your labels. And there are many things that you can also add to your card. You can add a cover image, which I'm going to go into a bit later. You can have um, due dates, you can have members that are responsible for that card you can have descriptions of the card you can also add attachments to the card and you can also have checklists on the card 
um, which I will show you in a bit. So this is what I've mentioned. You can have descriptions, due dates, members of the card, checklists, attachments, and also comments. as you go so if you click on the card this is what you will see you can see that you have a due date which is um september the 10th um at 12 o'clock and you can see that there's a description of the of the card as well and you can see that attachments your attachments can be links can be maps can be images can also be another trello board and as you can see on the right hand side um, you can add members, you can add labels, you can add checklists and due dates and attachments. And the nice thing about cards as well is that you can move them, you can make a copy of a card, um, you can also archive a card if you don't want to see it on your board. Trello has more features than just the, the board, the list and the cards. It allows you to collaborate, um, which means that you can add your team members onto your board. It can also send you reminders of due dates if you want emails to be sent to you to remind you of an upcoming task or a due date. And there's something called power apps on Trello. So these are add-ons that make your Trello experience and workflows better. So with the power apps, you get things like different views. So you can view your board as a calendar, as a table, as a concert. You can also link your um, your Trello board to different apps like Slack and Gmail and Google Drive. And a really nice feature that I love or nice power up that I like is a repeat card. So if you have tasks that are repeating on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, instead of um, redoing that card every week or every month, you can just set that card to repeat on a certain day. So for example, if maybe every Wednesday you have to run the same experiments um, at the same time on a Wednesday, you can set that card to repeat for example, every Monday, then it reappears on your on your Trello board. That way you don't have to go and recreate the card from scratch. Another thing, cool thing about Trello is, is, is their board menu. So you, the board menu is like the mission control center of your board. This is where you add your members. This is where you give permission for people to either be members or observers of the board. This is your control settings as well where you can search cards, where you can enable your power apps and create automations. You can also see activities in different views on this part of the board, which I will show you shortly. So the board menu consists of the board. You can have a board view, a map view, a timeline, a calendar view, dashboard, and a table view. A board view is what we've been seeing all along, so I won't get into much detail with that, but it contains your lists and your cards. And then you get a calendar view, which is great to see, um, which helps you to see deadlines and how your work is spread out in a week, in the day, in the month, or even the year. You also have a timeline view, which is similar to a Gantt chart. So this helps you to see the overlap in projects, when a project starts and when a project ends. And then you have a dashboard view, which helps you to see the workload distribution. So this could be per member or per, um, per card. So you can see how your cards are distributed, your upcoming due dates, how that is looking, which is very useful if you want to maybe plan your leave or if you want to work on another project, then you can see how the workload is distributed and you can make better decisions. All the things that I've mentioned are available on the Trello free plan. Um, if they're not, most of them are available as power up. So you can download a power up to be able to access some of the features that are available on the standard version, for example, or the premium version or the enterprise version. But like I said, the free plan works just fine. So the important thing with Trello is that you should customize it to suit you. It can get quite overwhelming because there's so much that you can do with it. There's so much you can try out, but again, it's important to ensure that you do what works best for you. Don't spend too much time making it look cool, automating it if you don't need to. And remember that tools must serve you. So if you're spending more time on Trello than your research work, then we have a problem. So don't get too overwhelmed trying to set it up. Just do the basics that you need to do. And then as time goes on, you can add the power apps according to your needs. 
I would like to just point you to some resources. On the Trello homepage, you can learn more about Trello. And then they also have a Trello guide that takes you on a step-by-step -step, um, journey for you to build your first Trello board. And you can read more about the pricing plans that they have. For more information, or if you want to reach out to us, you can follow us on Twitter. Um, you can check out the Escalator website, the Empower website. You can join us on Slack, and you can also subscribe to the Empower mailing list. And feel free to email us at uh, on escalatortalarify.co.za. Thank you so much for tuning in for this presentation. I hope that it was useful. And um, a demo will be available on how to create your first Trello board and how to interact with it as you have seen with moving the cards, creating the cards, and so on. Thank you. Hi, and welcome to this uh, cello demo. Uh, a, video on, uh, a video presentation on how to use cello has been recorded and is part of this YouTube playlist. Um, and in this video, we're just going to be showing you how to create a Trello board. So you will go onto the um, Trello homepage. You can just Google Trello home and it'll take you to this page and you click on go to boards. So this is where it will ask you to create an account if you have not worked on Trello before. So I already have a Trello account on my Gmail. And so it's going to just take me to this page here. And then as you can see, there's boards, there's templates, there's home, and then there's something called a workspace, which I mentioned in the previous video. So a Trello workspace is basically where you see all your work, all the work that you do on Trello. And I am just going to go ahead and create a new board. And for our new board, we need to select a background. I'm going to choose just a blue background and I will call it Trello demo. It is Trello. If you want to change the name of the board, you can just click on the name over there and I can change it to Trello demo. And then I um, mentioned that there's lists and here it says add list so I can create my to do, my doing and my done list. So these are now the three lists that I have. Um, let's say I am doing some research and on my to-do list, I need to um, read on Trello. I need to create a presentation. I need to record a video. Um, and let's say right now, I am creating a, uh, I'm creating slides and I am also working on a thesis. And let's say they are tasks, okay, so let's, let's just leave those three cards. And then on the cards, I can add members, I can, can add a description. So creating slides, I can add a description. These are slides for my first experiment presentation. I can add a due date. Let's say this is due tomorrow. I want to be done with it tomorrow at three. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Let's say I want to add a label, let's make it orange. And I want to add a checklist. And on the checklist, I can say, so as part of creating the slides, I must do my research. I must ask for input, uh, ask for input from supervisor and I must submit slides. Well, I must create the slides first, and then I must submit the slides. Submit slides for review. So this is now in my checklist. And then let's add an attachment. 
So I'm just going to go to the Trello home. And I'm going to, as an attachment, add this link, the Trello link. So I click on attachment, I paste the link and the link name is Trello Hope. And I click on attach and it'll appear over here. I can also add a comment to say, I have created this card to track my presentation progress. And next time I make any changes, I can add that on the comment section as well. So that's it. That's how I add all the details of my card. If I close my card now, I can see over there that there is a due date, there's a description, there's a comment, there's an attachment, and there's a checklist. So let's say I've now done my research. I'm going to check my checkbox over there. I've asked my supervisor from input. I've created the slides and I've submitted it for review. Now I'm done with this task. So I'm going to move this card to the done list. That shows me that, that I'm done with, um, with this particular card. And then I can go and add some more information on this card as well. Um, I mentioned uh, power ups as well. So let's just check the power ups that are available. I can go to check power ups. And as you can see, there are many, many power ups. I mentioned that you can link Slack. There is Slack over there. I can add my Slack on the Trello. I mentioned that you can add your Gmail. There's your Gmail configuration. I mentioned um, Google Drive. So I can add my Google Drive over there. Another nice power up is Planeyway. Planeyway helps you to see your um, all the tasks from your different boards on one calendar. So that's very useful if you want to see an overview of all the work that you have across all the boards. So as you can see over here, I have demo and I have Trello demo. So if I wanted to see due dates that appear on both boards, I can just use the Planeyway um, power up because then I'll be able to see all of them in one calendar. And then I also mentioned um, inviting colleagues you do it on the share over here where you can add an email address and you can choose. Okay, so here you can only on the free version, you can only invite someone to be a member or you can create a link for the board to um, share it with the people you'd like to invite to the Trello board. 